What's up guys, it's Rayscat here and today I will be talking about 4 Thresh techniques that most people don't know about but are still, in my opinion, extremely, extremely important as a Thresh player. Starting with the easiest, most obvious and the most consistent one of them all, the level 2 all-in. The reason why this is so strong is because most players just aren't prepared for it. And I can guarantee you that if you are... Plat four, platinum 4, Platinum 5 or lower You will get at least one kill off of this In every every single one of your games, if you do it correctly The level 2 all-in is based on your own strength being higher than the enemy bot lane strength When you get to lane, you instantly start auto-attacking the minions to push the wave If the enemy bottom lane starts to auto-attack you, then that's good for you Because they cannot match your push no matter what they do after that but try not to take too much free damage. You hit level 2 after the first 3 melee minions in the second wave. Or right after the first wave if you did a jungle camp and didn't miss any experience from the first wave. When you do hit level 2 you instantly all in the enemy lane. Even flash flaying if you need to to get in range. The worst case scenario is that you will only get the enemy AD carries flash. Even then it's a pretty decent trade because the next time you hook the target with their flash, they are going to die. The best case scenario is that they get greedy, they don't flash, they don't heal, they don't do anything. So you play them in, you hook them, you ignite them, and they are going to die. Sometimes you can even kill both of them. The minion taxi is a lesser used technique that is really helpful in some situations. Uh, sometimes you don't even need to hit a hook on the target to kill them, Sometimes you just need to get close enough to kill them. And this is uh, where the minion taxi, as I call it, comes in. Like I said before, I haven't seen a whole lot of players use this, but I think it's a pretty decent play. It can either be used as a way to momentarily trick your opponent into a false sense of security after you miss your hook, that lets you lantern in your jungle right on top of them. Or it can be an improvised move after you really miss a hook. You don't necessarily need the jungler to be there either to use this technique. Just like in the current clip, I know that I'm way too far to hit Caitlyn, so I hit the minion instead, land her in the graves, and play the Caitlyn for a free kill. Or sometimes you can use this to escape certain death, like in the current clip, or you can use this to move around the jungle like Spider-Man. After all is said and done, be sure not to forget the BM. I call this the accidental tower dive because you make the enemies tower dive you without them even realizing it. This is especially deadly in the lower elos where people love to auto attack you when uh, you're under your tower or love to use their abilities on you when you're under the tower. And this is really easily um, used in those elos. In theory this is a very simple move. But in practice, it's a little bit more difficult. The idea is while their auto attack or their ability is in motion towards you or your AD carry, you either flash flay them or flay them into the tower and instantly hook them afterwards. Simply put, if they don't have flash, they will die 100%. Now, all of these clips are from Diamond 2, Diamond 1 to Low Masters. And I assure you that in the lower elos this happens a lot more frequently and it's a lot easier to take advantage of. The hitbox snipe is one of the harder and more situational plays you can make on Thresh. Um, basically you have to know the hitboxes of any champions you wish to hook, uh, the minions, as well as your Q hitbox. And all of this comes with experience alone. You can't really test it out anywhere. This isn't so much of a technique, and I wasn't sure if I should put this in the video, but I still did. Basically, you don't aim for the champions, but their hitboxes corners. And this is situational, because you have to meet very specific requirements for this to actually work. But this is a very useful thing to know and get used to as it makes hitting hooks while inside a minion wave or when you're right next to an enemy champion a lot easier. 
And like I said, this comes through experience and experience alone. The last thing I want to talk about isn't the technique, but it's one of the most important things when you play Thresh, and over 90% of Thresh players just don't do it. Save your play. It's just as simple as it sounds. Your play doesn't do enough damage to justify using it just for the damage, especially if you don't max it first. But by saving your play until you see an enemy dash you can interrupt, that's worth. This is something even I didn't do after over a year of maining Thresh, and only in the recent months I've actually started to use play properly, and I have actually started to see the difference and how much impact the play actually do uh, can have in the game if used properly. So there we have it. Those were the four tips I have for taking your fresh play to the next level. And the reason uh, why I made a video like this is simply because I haven't been able to play as much as I would have liked in the past couple of months because of my right arm. It's been really painful, um, but it's at least it's getting better now. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.